Welcome to Green TV, the show that focuses on independent Green Party, Green Party candidates, and the Green New Deal, positive eco solutions for the economy. Solar jobs, wind jobs, geothermal jobs, rail jobs, conservation jobs, efficiency jobs. On Green TV with us today, Janet Murphy, the independent Green Party candidate for state senate in Arlington. Janet Murphy is also the uh, independent Arlington County Chair. Welcome to the show today, Janet. It's great to see you. Great to see you, Carrie. Nice to be here. Also on the show with us today is the Independent Green Party's 4th Congressional District Chairman, Albert Burkhart, retired U.S. Army Lieutenant Colonel Albert Burkhart, comes to us from downstate tonight, Isle of Wright County. Isle Albert Burkhart. Isle of Wight. Isle of Wight. Thank you, Janet Murphy. Uh, and uh, Albert Burkhardt is a retired uh, uh, U.S. Army colonel, lieutenant colonel. After retiring from the U.S. Army, Albert Burkhardt went ahead to return home uh, where he was born and to work as a high school teacher. He also volunteers with the, with the local uh, fire department, the volunteer fire department there. Albert Burkhardt is a husband, a father, a grandfather, and this year, Albert Burkhart is an independent Green Party candidate for County Board of Supervisors in the Newark District. Albert Burkhart, Colonel Burkhart, welcome to the show. Welcome to Green TV. Well, Kerry, thank, thank you very much. It's uh, good to be uh, talking to you again. And uh, we're lo looking forward to the election down here. Uh, we've got a ways to go. We've got a n number of candidates who uh, who want to uh, throw their hat in the ring, and I'll be one of them, so we'll just have to see how things go in November. Albert Burkhardt, let's uh, first talk off. Tell us a little bit, a uh, few personal details, Albert, before we jump right into the independent Green Party politics. Uh, you know, I was telling Janet Murphy here before the show, when we had a press conference in Williamsburg one day uh, at the rail station with uh, Gail Farrell Parker and a couple of other our independent Green Party candidates down there, uh, I remember that uh, we pulled you together and uh, close to Gail and some of the other ones, and Gail put her arm around you, and your, I remember seeing your face blushed. And do you remember what you, what you said to me that day, Colonel Burkhart? Carrie, I don't, don't remember at <laughs> all. Can you tell me? It, I, got, I got such a kick out of it. You, you, you said, you know, uh, I've been married to my wife a little while, and I'm, I'm just not used to any other women uh, putting their hands on me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I enjoyed, and Albert, you said something to me once about your, your first wife. Uh, d d d now, you've been married how long? Well, no, I, I, I've been married uh, 43 years, and I'm still married to my first wife. Right. Exactly, exactly. Uh, uh, watching Green TV, uh, Janet Murphy here with us, and Albert Burkhardt on the phone. Albert, in this county board race uh, down there, what uh, are some of your positive, independent Green Party solutions that you're advocating for? Well, the primary issue we're facing now is transportation. Uh, I guess like a lot of communities are, especially here on Hampton Roads, and the big gap uh, in transportation here in Hampton Roads is between the two Amtrak stations, uh, one in Norfolk, which comes in on the south side, and then, of course, you got the other one coming down, uh, Newport News, to the Amtrak station. And there's a, the, the two are not connected. And so I'm proposing a light rail solution which connects those two. And so you'll have a loop down here in the Hampton Roads area rather than two dead ends. Well, it sounds uh, fantastic, Colonel Burkhart. You're talking about uh, more trains and less traffic uh, running from uh, Newport News to Hampton Roads. Did I get that right, Albert? Well, what it'll do, it'll run from Newport News uh, across the James River on a, on a causeway and then right through Isle of Wight County and hook into the main line at Windsor. And so you'll have, what that'll do is complete that loop with, you can get on the train in Richmond, come down, go through Windsor, go up to Newport News and back to Richmond. 
Albert Burkhart, uh, independent Green Party candidate for County Board of Supervisors in Isla White County uh, in the Newport uh, District. Uh, Albert, we well know that uh, every dollar invested in rail creates $20 of economic uh, benefit, over 20 bucks of economic growth. And of course, uh, rail is so much safer than other uh, forms of transportation. Rail saves lives. 33,000 Americans killed last year on our highways, over 340,000 injured. Uh, as Gail Farrell Parker, the producer of uh, Green TV, uh, an independent Green Party candidate for Fairfax County Board of Supervisors chair this year, uh, is also advocating for rail. Now, Janet Murphy, uh, independent Green Party uh, Arlington County chair uh, and uh, state Senate candidate this year. Mm -hmm. Janet, uh, you're excited about uh, building more rail in this part of the state as well. Absolutely. Uh, eight rail car trains uh, on Metro Rail. Uh, Usually. Six or eight metro cars. And Carrie, you were just mentioning this wonderful book by Jeff Speck, Walkable City, which reviews the amazing story of the Arlington Metro Rail and how 70% of the voters voted for having uh, actually five metro stops from Rosslyn out to Boston and the growth that has, uh, has resulted. And I'm a, I'm a witness every day, and you are too, because you see this uh, right near the city. It's amazing, the growth and the, uh, the shot in the arm for the economy. If only they could balance a little bit more affordable housing in, uh, uh, in this area. So Al Albert, I hope you can hold on to your affordable housing when that train comes in, because well, it will stimulate amazing growth. You know, well, that, well ac actually, the growth, uh, Janet, is already going to come. They're yeah. projecting uh, almost a doubling of the population here in Olive White County. Yeah. And so we know the growth is going to come. The problem is the roads don't support it now. And I think light rail will go a long way to helping that. For sure. The, uh, the light rail is, is the answer to all of these questions. Uh, and uh, it's going to stimulate business, 80%, isn't that right, Carrie? 80% uh, of um, all new business uh, around the Washington metro area, 80% of all new businesses are right around metro rail stops. Uh, Fairfax County, for example, 30% of all trips are within just three miles of home, and that speaks uh, to the value of rail and something else that, you know, I'm running for Braddock District uh, Board of Supervisors up here in Fairfax County, Albert. And uh, one of the key things that we want to focus on in this race, and I'm curious if, if that'll be a part of your platform as well in uh, Newark District in Isle of Wight, is bikeable, walkable, pedestrian-friendly uh, communities. In Braddock District, we want to see, uh, bring bike share to Braddock. We want to uh, bring bike share at all of the Virginia Rail Express stations. In Braddock District, we have three Virginia Rail Express stops on Backlick, at Rolling, and in Burke. We also want to see bike share uh, brought to Annandale Northern Virginia Community College campus, uh, as well as uh, George Mason University, the Fairfax uh, County campus. In this new book that uh, Janet referred to, it's called Walkable City, and it's by uh, Jeff Speck. Uh, Speck quantifies, as uh, Professor Donald Shoup of UCLA, the cost of taxpayer-subsidized parking in the United States each year to the tune of local, state, and federal tax subsidies just for parking almost as much as we spend on the U.S. military, Albert, I, I'm an Air Force vet. Wow. And it's, it's an amazing almost $400 billion a year, and those are 2012 uh, dollars that are cited in the book. What, are you, uh, what do you see in your campaign as uh, additional positive solutions along the lines of walkability, uh, pedestrian-friendly uh, uh, there in the Newark district? Is that mostly a rural district, Albert? Well, uh, it, it is, but it's, it's growing every year. But we've already established here in Isle of Wight County a multi-purpose trail 
It's not completely finished yet, but it will connect the Newport District with the Smithfield District. And that is the most highly high density population area of the county. And so with light rail coming through, it'll connect into that in at least one place. And so you'll actually have rail connecting up with the, uh, with the bike trail that goes into the town of Smithfield. Uh, Albert Burkhart, independent Green Party candidate for County Board of Supervisors in Isla White County. Uh, you're watching Green TV. I'm Kerry Campbell, and with us on the show today, Janet Murphy, a uh, member of the Independent Green Party State Central Committee and independent Green Party candidate for State Senate uh, in Virginia this year in Arlington. Uh, Janet, you've got a couple of uh, other exciting things to tell us about the value of building Columbia Pike Rail in Arlington, uh, a hot button issue that folks are still talking about. And uh, uh, the point I would make there was an amazing study that came out uh, in the summer that showed the investment in Columbia Pike and how that would just make uh, the uh, economy thrive. It would. Uh, the plan for Columbia Pike Light Rail also included affordable housing. And uh, uh, we're basking in the afterglow at the moment because unfortunately uh, we got, uh, we went three steps forward and two steps back with uh, a recent decision that's saying they're not going to go forward with the Columbia Pike Light Rail. Well, of course, that's always about uh, so, the, the, the uh, yeah. fighting the fighting the good fight yes. and continuing to advocate for the, uh, the positive yes. solution. And of course, the Independent Green Party is always uh, uh, advocated for more trains and, and less traffic. Parker, independent Green candidate for Fairfax County Board of Supervisors. You've probably heard a lot about independent Greens. I'm a businesswoman, a retired Air Force veteran, and governmental budget analyst. I'm the mother of three and the grandmother of four. The independent Greens have been advocating for more trains and less traffic for Fairfax County for many years, some for as long as 30 years. It's time for us to do something different. That's why this year I am advocating to incorporate Fairfax County as Fairfax County City. There's a financial barrier at the federal level that prevents local authorities from building rail. The current policies say to municipal and state governments, if you build roads, the federal taxpayers will pay 80%. And if you build rail, the federal taxpayers will pay 20%. The Dillon Rule in Virginia means that if local authorities wish to solve Northern Virginia transportation issues by building light rail feeder systems, the Virginia General Assembly must approve the action. Incorporating Fairfax County as a city would avoid asking Mother May I to the Virginia General Assembly. Fairfax County receives less than 20 cents on every tax dollar sent to Richmond and rail returns $20 on every dollar invested in rail. Incorporating as a city would allow Fairfax County City to solve transportation issues with mass transit, more trains, less traffic. By building rail, we can grow the economy, create new green eco jobs for the ecology, cut dependence on foreign oil. Rail will make us safer, 
Help us to have cleaner air, cleaner water. And remember, rail returns $20 to the community for every dollar invested. Fairfax County is forecast to grow by 1.6 million people in the next 20 years and coincidentally by 1.6 million new jobs. New tracks, more trains, more often will ensure that folks in Fairfax County will continue to prosper and will prepare for the future. Let's try something different. Let's incorporate and build light rail feeder systems so we can go places in the future. More trains, less traffic. Vote Gale for Rail Parker in November. <laughs> I'm Kerry Campbell, independent candidate for Braddock District Supervisor, nonpartisan candidate in a nonpartisan race. The Independent Green Party of Virginia, Green New Deal, Eco Jobs for the Economy is the positive solution we need in Braddock District. We need to bring bike share to Braddock. We need more trains, more tracks, more often on the Virginia Rail Express. We need to put bike share at each of the Virginia rail stops in Braddock, Backlick, Rolling, and Burke. We need to put bike share at Annandale Community College, Northern Virginia Community College in Annandale, and at George Mason University in Fairfax City. I'm an Air Force vet and an accountant, member of the North Springfield Civic Association, I served on the board for almost a decade, and a uh, member of the North Springfield PTA, elected to the Braddock District Council, former vice president of the Fairfax Federation of Civics Associations, where I served as co-chair of the Budget and Transportation Committees. We need more trains, less traffic in Braddock because rail saves lives. Rail grows the economy. Rail increases the value of our homes, our businesses, and our communities. Rail grows revenue for our schools, our police, and our fire departments. And in Fairfax County, we spend about 52% of our budget each year on our outstanding schools. About 25% of the budget each year goes to our police and fire department and the rest human services like the libraries. We need to grow the economy, eco jobs for the economy in Fairfax County. And one way to do that is to make sure in the capital infrastructure budget for Fairfax County that we put geothermal heating and cooling and solar panels and renewable energies that ultimately are free energy, energy that pays for itself. Another positive proposal I'll make as your Braddock District County, Braddock District Supervisor in Fairfax County uh, is that we provide grants for our homes and for our businesses to put solar and renewable energy in their property. This is the positive way to go. This is eco jobs for the economy in Braddock District and Fairfax County. I'm Kerry Campbell, independent for Braddock District Supervisor. transition to a green economy powered by 100%
wind, water, and sun by 2030. Yes. Yeah. Uh, other positive solutions that you're looking at in this race uh, for county board, uh, I'm sorry, for state senate. State senate. In, well, in we're Albert. always looking at the uh, energy that matters, and yeah. with with Albert's uh, train down in in Isle of Wight, which will probably be running on electricity, which will be great. We're going to be looking for more solar energy, wind energy, geothermal energy at all levels. We want the grid and the infrastructure, the energy um, infrastructure to keep pace and get up to speed here with uh, some of the other areas locally uh, that have made great strides to uh, keep up with the, with the environmental requirements to try to ca catch up. Uh, one thing about um, that, I wonder, Albert, have you ever heard of the Environmental Film Festival? Uh, no, can you tell me about it? Well, I'd love to tell everybody about it. It's almost it's definitely been 20 years or more. I don't know if it's the 22nd year or what, but it's a festival that takes place in the Washington DC area <laughs> yeah. in March every year yeah. and they have amazing films that educate people so much about water and energy and uh, uh, the environment in general. So it is a very good resource for, for some of this information. And recently I saw a movie called The Cow Conspiracy, which really actually makes the point that the biggest uh, source of uh, adversity to the environment is animal agriculture. And I'm sure you're going to have your hands full down in Isle of Wight with the Smithfield uh, businesses that are going to have to really face what, what's going on with the environment and the water down there. What's going on with that these days? Well, that's, I mean, it's interesting you brought that up because Isle of Wight County is about 85 percent uh, rural agricultural. Right. And we're being uh, hit with all these stormwater fees and runoff fees and things like that. And yet the issue is that the farmers uh, you know, don't uh, don't pay those same fees that the normal citizens do, and it's a real struggle because we want to keep our farmers in business. We want the agriculture yep. because it's what makes our county what it is, and so we've got this struggle, of course, between the urban areas, which are very small, mm -hmm. and then the much larger agricultural areas, and we're going to have to work that out locally, uh, Janet. Uh Colonel Albert Burkhardt, uh, Independent Green Party leader and Independent Green Party candidate on Green TV, Janet Murphy, Independent Green Party uh, chair in Arlington County and uh, Independent Green Party candidate for State Senate. Albert, uh, both of us being military men and uh, one in seven of Virginians uh, being veterans of the U.S. military. Uh, I want to back it up just a little bit to talk about uh, your military career, your military background, and the fact that you chose, like myself, as people who remember Green Party founder Patrick Kelly, to 
uh, join the Green Party, the independent Green Party, and uh, run as uh, uh, folks advocating for the positive Green New Deal solutions. Uh, talk a little bit about your military experience. I believe you uh, were a German professor at West Point as well, were you not? Well, professor is, uh, we actually called ourselves instructors. I see. The, the instructors were actually, they had the cadet contact, and we had professors above us. So we, we were hired simply to uh, teach the language. And when we, when we had a question about which direction to go, we went to the professors, which were usually full colonels. We instructors were, were captains and majors. Well, uh, Colonel Albert Burkhardt, our guest today on Green Party, Green TV, Independent Green Candidates, Green New Deal Positive Solutions. You're looking at my good friend Janet Murphy, Independent Green Party Candidate for State Senate. We thank you so much for watching Green TV. We look forward to seeing you next time on Green TV.